Experience the excitement, the speed, the adrenaline of high-performance racing on an all-new vertical speedway. Introducing Top Thrill 2, the world's tallest and fastest triple launch strata coaster. Buckle in and smoke the competition on this extreme motorsport machine. Launch three times at speeds reaching 120 miles per hour. Drive the sky at 420 feet. Pump the brakes, cross the finish line. Take that victory lap. Get revved up on Top Thrill 2. Coming to Cedar Point, 2024. On August 1st, 2023, after nearly two years of speculation and rumors about the future of Top Thrill Dragster, Cedar Point, America's rock and roller coast, unveiled the new iteration, Top Thrill 2. Becoming the world's tallest and fastest swing launch coaster, bringing a new 420 foot spike to the skyline, new LSM launches, and a thrilling revamp of the former attraction. After the last two years of coverage and predictions, meeting tons of new people all because a ride was standing but not operating, and capturing the excitement as each piece of the track came off and was shipped overseas. Pretty much from the beginning, Ghoster Coasters was on the spike and LSM revamp train and we did not expect much else. It seems we were fairly on point from the get-go. We just assumed Intamin would be doing the project. Mm. But nonetheless, we are excited for Zamperla to bring us the new iteration of Top Thrill 2. Now, during our trip to the park on announcement day on August 1st, you could feel the energy in the air as fans were greeted with new footers in place and tons of new signage all throughout the midways displaying the new ride. Tony Clark was even on hand and company and they were there to answer all guests questions and enthusiasts alike during the morning and gathering all the first reactions of all the park guests and what they were thinking of the new ride. It was pretty cool to see that. They were in a great mood. It was cool to see all the new merch going on up there as well. Guests of the park were wearing the new Top Thrill 2 gear all over the place. Bright and colorful shirts featuring the new theming colors and bringing some vibrance to the midways. The feeling was inescapable as we all get to see what's next for Cedar Point. So, how did we at Ghoster Coasters react to this? So that new spike, 420 feet? How high do you actually think we are going to get? Well. Looking at the videos, you can kind of do some guesstimation work, especially from the old top hill or top hat and the new spike footers, like doing a distance measurement, dividing it's 420 feet by each column on there. So top throws was seven, it's about 62 feet per gap. On the new one, it looks like there's about 10 columns in the rendering, so about 42 feet per gap. Right. Doing some, you know, light math on the spike, it looks like you're going to be about 80 feet down from the top. So that puts you in the back of the train at about 360 feet, front of the train, 345, 350, you know. So it's pretty cool, guys. You are going to be higher than the whole entire lift hill of Millennium Force on this new Top Thrill Dragster or and, Top Thrill 2. Gotcha. And, right. And you're going to be going straight down. It's a 90 degree angle. It's going to be intense that's going to be way crazier than millennial force's first drop too you know oh, what i yeah. mean like just being up there that weightlessness feeling so here at ghoster coasters we are super excited to go backwards up that spike and the 101 mile an hour launch backwards i holy mean holy moly i know that's got to be one of the that's the fastest backwards launch no it has to be it has to be i don't know but that's insane ooh. yeah it has to be because pantheon none of them do that so fastest backwards launch ever too guys that's pretty cool and obviously yeah. we get to see corkscrew still on the midway so Absolutely. that's awesome the new midway how do you feel about that i think everything is just gonna fit together and it's gonna look really cool i've seen pictures of the new grandstands area and oh yeah that looks really nice the concrete bleachers instead of the other bleachers under yes. the blue awning it's gonna look way better than the tacky metal bleachers in an awning like there's gonna be shade in the queue Yes, and in the queue. Yeah, so we're not going to sit here and be sweltering in that Cedar Point heat in the middle of July and August anymore. Exactly. Waiting for Top Thrill 2. So it looks like there's going to be a direct fast lane line in there still as well, which is nice, as long as it's on the fast lane. 
list. Yeah, of course. It's obviously going to be on right. the fast lane list if they do it. And Tony Clark seemed to iterate that in the Kearney Cation video when he was being interviewed there. Yes. They also said it's going to be more similar to the park's uh, policy with loose articles. So I'm not expecting lockers per se on this because he did mention Maverick and Millennium Force as well. Right. So stay tuned for that guys because i'm starting to think we might not have that security system at top thrill 2 which is a great thing for all of us because who wants to go through all of that nobody but i'd like to touch on the whole rollback thing now i know some people have been disappointed about how far up you go with this new rollback but as with the old version there is always going to be that possibility that it might roll back a second time, which would make things even more thrilling. And and to address it, we know that Zamperla is confident that they're not gonna have rollbacks because of the lighter trains. But if they do roll back, we've kind of gone into this, they're not gonna stop you on that launch back. We think you're gonna have five passes on it instead of the three that you get with the, the first rollback, backwards launch up the spike and then forward. If you roll back again, I think they're just gonna send you back up that spike and then forward again instead of restarting the whole ride because that would be, you know, horrible for operations one and two. It's just a whole lot more energy usage when you stop it and restart again. So right. I feel like they're probably just gonna send you right back up the spike and over the top hat if you get that rollback. So stay tuned for that coveted five lap race on Top Thrill 2. I think that could be something very rarely seen at the park in the future. And let's just kind of hope that it does happen secretly. Shh. But how do you feel about these coaster trains, these lightning trains, the colors of them? I am super stoked on that light blue and red scheme. How do you feel about that? I love them. I absolutely love them. I love the restraint system on them as well, for sure. Like that over the shoulder lap bar. Yeah, definitely. I, I do like that. I'm going to miss the free feeling of the Intamin T-bars, but who knows? These lightning trains might be better and more comfortable because we've heard from plenty of people that they are comfortable trains as well. Yes. Adam Sandy has talked about them in great detail from Zamperla. So let's all get excited for Top Thrill 2, guys. How are you feeling about this? I know some people are a little let down overall, but I think this is a great introduction for Zamperla. Some, you know, obviously with the Strata coaster to their list, I mean, big coasters. And for Cedar Point, it's a knockout because if it's reliable, everyone's going to be satisfied for the most part, except the people wishing for the old hydraulic launch. There's still going to be some negativity about it. Oh, yeah. Overall, here at Ghoster Coasters, I'm thrilled for it. It was kind of what we expected the whole time. Mm -hmm. And after two years of wanting it, yeah, it was a little eh when we seen it at first. But coming back to it, we were excited about this when we first pitched the idea of a spike in LSMs back in the day anyways. So yes. overall, I'm giving this a knockout. Cedar Point, you did a great job here. The racing team is fun. Everyone's going to feel involved. Families that just want to watch. Like, everyone can do something. And the new area looks good. Corkscrew blue, red, and white over there. And yep. then you have the blue and red racing team over here. I mean, knockout. The area is going to look great. Shading for everybody. It's almost like you listen to everything except the enthusiast asking for a little bit more on that layout. So kudos to you, Cedar Point. And... We are super excited to ride the new iteration of Top Thrill 2. What I'm most excited about next season is opening day, driving down Route 2, when you get to that point where you're going over the water and you just look over and you can see Cedar Point because we're going to see a whole new skyline next season. 420 oh. foot tower. I don't think that's being talked about. One hasn't been built since 2005. Right. a structure for a 420 foot strata element on a coaster so i think this is all around exciting guys that's how we feel about this how are you feeling about it let us know down in the comments down below make sure you hit that subscribe button if you see us at the parks definitely come up to us and say hello maybe even catch a ride with us if you got that fast lane oh yes and as always thank you for being a part of this spooky community and for coaster ghosting with ghoster coasters, coasters.